Hey, hey, everybody, this is Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to talk about presentations three ways in Restream Studio. Let's go. Okay, now when I talk about presentations three ways, it's really three ways to present your content in a presentation style in Restream Studio. Now, two ways are very similar. Then there's a third way, which I actually think is the best way. But I want to just show you the other two ways, just in case if you want to do them that way. The first way is with a full screen slide graphic, right? So that's kind of like that information graphic that I showed you in a previous video. But it's more of a slide kind of graphic, right? Where you would have a series of them. Now, the pros to this is that you don't have to be on screen. And there's lots of templates and designs you can work with to kind of make your slides. So you can go into Canva, other products like that, and export all your slides as JPEGs. But that leads into the cons of doing it this way. You have to load all your slides as individual graphics, which can be a pain if you have a lot of them. If you have any more than 10, I really suggest not doing it in this method. The second method or the second way to do a presentation is with another graphic like this, but it looks more like an overlay. So it's kind of a slide overlay kind of look where you make your typical slide, but you would make space for your video to show through it, right? So you would cut a spacer out of it for your video to show through, and it gives you kind of unique layouts where your content is still here next to you, but you're visible on screen and you can kind of do different layouts that look a little bit different from standard just by setting up your cameras different. So this is basically a two camera setup, but I'm covering up one of them, right? And you can do other layouts like this. You can also cut your shape in different shapes to get you different looks, right? Now the cons of this is the setup of the window. So right now, like I said, I have two video screens set up right now in a split screen look. Or if I wanted to cover up me and I was a whole window video, I'd have to maneuver myself inside of my camera window to make it fit within the shape that I cut out. Also, you have to load individual images like you do for the other format. And then finally, again, they are static and uneditable. Now, I like this kind of look, right? Because it's kind of a combo of an overlay and a presentation slide, but you run into the cons of having to upload individual graphics and showing them manually as you flip through. Now, let me give you this caveat real quick, though. In Restream Studio, I can control these graphics, right? I can turn them on and off as I want to. Now, the third way to show your presentation you have to control the presentation from its native application, like Keynote and PowerPoint. So let me show that to you in this look. Now, this is a layout in Restream Studio, and what you see above me here is a live presentation in a screen share. I'm gonna show you how to set that up in a second. But what this is, this is a live slideshow that's in Keynote right now. And the same thing can be done in PowerPoint. So here's what's unique about it. Let me show you my mouse real quick. So this is my mouse in the Keynote presentation. Let me move it out of the way so you don't see it. Now I can control this presentation natively from Keynote into Restream. Now, the con of this that I have to tell you about is that you have to be in the Keynote or PowerPoint presentation to work this. So I can't do native Restream things while I'm working the presentation. Now I can flip back and forth, right? So if I want to do something in Restream, I click on the Restream app. I can do some Restream stuff. If I want to do the presentation, I have to be in Keynote or PowerPoint to run it. Let me go backwards back to the first slide again. Now I'm doing all these things manually inside of Keynote. So I can have a live presentation with all of its animations working within the video. So what I'm about to do now is I'm going to take you into Keynote and PowerPoint to show you how to set up playing this slideshow in a window in a live format like this. And then I'm going to go into Restream Studio and show you the way to set this up so it works properly in Restream Studio. So let's jump into Keynote first and let me show you how to do that setup.
Okay, so here we are now in Keynote. And the great thing about Keynote is that it has a feature that allows you to play your slideshow in a window so it will not take over your complete screen when the presentation plays. So I'm gonna show you how to do that setup in Keynote first, then in PowerPoint. So in Keynote, once you get your presentation done and all your slides are ready, you basically just go to play, play slideshow in window. And it's as simple as that. So as you see here now, my whole screen has not been taken over. You can still see my background behind this window and it's a floating window. Now, I'll show you in a second how to make this work in Restream Studio, but essentially that is all you have to do in Keynote. Now, let's go to PowerPoint so I can show you how to set that one up to do the same thing. So when you get your slideshow done, I don't have any slides right now, but when you get your slideshow done, you then go to Slideshow, Setup Show, Browsed by an individual window and show type. And this line allows you to play your slideshow in a window. So I hit OK. Now if I go down here and I hit the play button for my presentation, you see that it now shows up in a window that's movable. Let's go back into Restream Studio real quick and I will show you how to make both of these show up within your presentation. Okay, so in Restream Studio, all we have to do now is first we go into Keynote or PowerPoint and start our presentation. So after you then do that, you come into Restream Studio in your live studio. So what you do now is you click on share screen and you'll see here that I have the option of, a, of my first screen or my second screen, but we don't have to have two screens for this to work. You click this second tab for play in a window, and then you pick the window for your presentation that it happens to be in. And now we have the same layout that we had initially in our presentation. The live presentation up top and our video window beneath. So that's what you have to do to make your live presentations play. Now this will work if you have a two screen layout or if you can make two windows fit on one screen. So there we go. Have a good one. Bye-bye.